Gerard van Honthorst Smiling Girl, a courtesan holding an obscene image emerges as a captivating masterpiece from the Dutch Golden Age, a period that perfected the art of juxtaposing innocence and sensuality in its artworks. This remarkable painting, while never overly explicit, possesses a captivating tension that beckons viewers into a world of veiled pleasures and unrestrained desire. As we embark on this exploration, it is essential to recognize that the essence of the smiling girl transcends her time and setting. She serves as an embodiment of human complexity, reflecting the intricate balance we all strive to maintain between the facade we present to the world and the desires we keep hidden. Honthorst's work thus becomes an intimate lens through which we examine our own dualities, reminding us that the interplay between the forbidden and the known is a constant theme in the human experience, one that we all grapple with. The courtesan, as the central figure in this captivating tableau, is not just a subject but a mirror reflecting the intricate paradoxes of human existence. Her beguiling smile is not just a tantalizing invitation, but a metaphor for our own journey in reconciling the complex layers of our persona. She embodies the nuanced dance between society's expectations and personal desires, illustrating the unending conflict between who we are and who we pretend to be. Her gaze so penetrating and intimate symbolizes our shared humanity where we all harbor our secrets, our covert longings, and our innermost desires that often elude the prying eyes of the world. The courtesan thus becomes an allegory of our personal battles, making Honthorst artwork a timeless and universal commentary on the ever-present struggle between what is hidden and what is openly revealed. The obscene image transcends its role as a concealed object it becomes a representation of the human psyche. Its obscurity invites us to delve into the innermost chambers of our own desires and unspoken wishes. Honthorst's deliberate choice to shroud the image serves as a metaphor for the uncharted territories of the human soul, where the most profound desires often linger. It challenges us to explore the recesses of our own inner world, the parts of ourselves that we sometimes fear to acknowledge or reveal. The concealed image becomes an emblem of the human condition a reminder that our most potent and compelling desires often reside in the hidden realms of our hearts and minds, the act of speculation, of imagining what lies behind that image, draws us into an introspective journey where the line between public persona and private fantasy is blurred and our own enigmatic nature is laid bare. The courtesan's attire not only epitomizes the sensuality of her era, but becomes a symbol of the nuanced interplay between societal expectations and personal identity. Her suggestive décolletage becomes an allegory for the masks we wear and the layers we unveil to the world. Her clothing, almost an external expression of her inner being, portrays the intricate dance between modesty and seduction, a universal dilemma that all individuals encounter as they navigate societal norms and personal desires. Her attire is a representation of the endless paradoxes we encounter in our lives, where we grapple with the tension between our innate sensuality and the propriety imposed upon us by society. It is a testament to the complexity of human existence, where the exterior and the interior are in a perpetual dance of concealment and revelation, a dance that Honthorst's work masterfully encapsulates. Onthorst's artful use of light and shadow in the painting transcends its role as a mere artistic technique. It becomes a symbol of the eternal duality that exists within the human soul. The way the soft, warm light caresses the courtesan's features and accentuates her allure becomes a metaphor for the way human existence is characterized by the interplay between innocence and seduction. The light is a visual representation of our dual nature revealing how we all have aspects that are both pure and sensual. It's as though the painting acknowledges that within every individual, there are contrasting elements, much like the alternating shades of light and shadow that shape the courtesan's form. It invites us to ponder the harmony between our own opposing qualities and how they contribute to the captivating complexity of the human experience. Smiling girl, a courtesan, holding an obscene image, serves as a profound reminder that the most tantalizing experiences are often those we imagine for ourselves. It presents a canvas that transcends the boundaries of time and space, inviting viewers 
to immerse themselves in a realm of personal exploration, the absence of explicit content does not hinder its capacity to ignite profound sexual intrigue and explore the concealed pleasures that dwell within the human spirit. Instead, it actively encourages viewers to partake in the timeless art of suggestion, to delve into the uncharted landscapes of desire, and to explore the nuanced allure of the human psyche. Hornthorst's work invites us to look within and acknowledge that we, too, are masters of the art of suggestion, possessing our own tapestry of concealed desires and hidden fantasies that extend beyond the confines of the canvas. It reinforces the idea that true seduction is often born from subtlety, where our minds actively engage in crafting the forbidden and indulging in the world of the unspoken.